Microsoft Ads Review Extensions are a way for advertisers to add some extra trust to their text ads. If you have reviews or awards that are showcased on independent or third-party websites, you can take quotes from those reviews and add them as an additional extension. Now in this video, we will show you the benefits of using a review extension, what they look like within a text ad, and how to set them up in various levels within a campaign. I went to bing.com and in the search field, I typed in the query of billing software. After I hit enter, I got a variety of search results. But in the first ad that we're seeing, which is a pretty big ad, most of the real estate is taken up by eight site link extensions. But right above the site link extensions, we see one example of a review extension. It blends in pretty good. And that has kind of been the layout I've seen with Microsoft ads lately. Most of your extensions, like the structured snippets, your call out extensions, and the review extensions really blend in with your description. So the review extension will show a quote. And then after the quote is the source. If you highlight over the source, that is a clickable link that will go to the source. We'll check it out pretty soon. But in the past, the source link used to be blue colored, just like your main headlines. But we see in a generic search like billing software, there's most likely a good amount of competition for that term. So adding more proof points from reputable third party sources can help build trust. You can already see with how these extensions can look, the more reputable the source, the more trustworthy it could be from a user who sees this ad. So I said I would click on the source link, so I'm going to do that, open it up in a new tab. But before I hop over, let's remember this quote, used by thousands of physicians across the US. Now let's hop into the other site. I'm gonna click and drag to highlight the quote, but there it is, used by thousands of physicians across the United States. Now in the extension, we saw it said US instead of United States. And once we get into the actual review extension setup, you're gonna see why this is okay. But that is a pretty good proof point that you may wanna add to your site. The only thing I would critique is the source itself. Someone may like the quote that you're using, but remember they do have the option to go to this page. That's exactly what we did. And if you're sending them to a site that may not have the highest review, 3.95 isn't bad, but having one full empty star may not look the greatest either, especially if they're doing shopping and looking at competitors. So always remember what else the user could see on the source page and see, should I be using this in my text ad? All right, let's head back to the Bing search results. We scroll down. I believe I saw towards the bottom there were some more ads, and there we see another example. Also just realized the ad we saw is repeating at the bottom. That's interesting. But right up above it, there's another example. If we click on the source to Captera, and what do you know? The URL that they are using isn't around anymore. Good lesson right here. If you're linking to third-party sites, make sure that those links are still working. Now, of course, on this one, I didn't open up in a new tab, so I know when I go back, it's not gonna show the same results. Of course not. But I think we have a pretty good idea of what review extensions can look like in the wild. So before I hop into Microsoft Ads so we can go through the review extension setup, I do wanna cover why review extensions can be beneficial. And the first one is a no-brainer. They're free. And what we mean by that is that if a user who's on Bing.com and clicks on your review extension, the clicks on the source link are free. I'm gonna repeat that again. Clicks on your Microsoft review extensions are free of charge. That's because Microsoft understands you're sending them to a third-party website and not your own website. But if that third-party site provides valuable information that you may not have on your landing page, it can definitely be worth sending that user somewhere else. We've had clients before that have had wonderful review articles in Time Magazine, People Magazine, The New York Times, Wall Street Journal, that sort of level. And when you have big reputable sources like that, it really can build trust with your user base. Maybe a news source isn't the best thing for your brand, but whatever influencer sites are out there that your target audience would believe, if you have any quotes in there, that could have a bigger impact on any other content that you are putting within your text ad. The next reason is that it can help you stand out from the competition. Pretty much using what I just said about finding the proper influencer that your target audience would believe. When I'm creating text ads, I always like to showcase to my customers why you should choose this brand over everyone else. Proving the why message and trying to get to the point of there is no need to look at anyone else. We have everything you need. We're the best option. Again, focusing on the why. Proving your value. And then another line or two of text just stretches out the size of your ad. It takes up real estate in the search result pages. Is it a huge amount? No, these aren't like seeing six to eight site links, but I will take as many pixels as I can get. So the user has a better chance of seeing my ad versus the other ads or the organic results. 
And while I don't have it as a bullet point, they don't take long to set up at all, especially if you know where to find your source. So let's go into Microsoft Ads and I will show you how you can set up review extensions in your account. In Microsoft Ads, head on over to Ads and Extensions. After you click on that section, you can either drop down to Extensions here, or you can also find it up top. It's going to take you to the same place. Next, we'll want to go to the Extension Option dropdown, and then in alphabetical order, we just need to find Review Extensions. This is our demo account, so we've never set up extensions here before. So we'll want to go up and create a new one, and then we will need to go down and also click on Add New Review Extension. So remember in the first example, the quote in the extension wasn't exactly the same as the quote that was on the actual review page. Most likely that was due to the 67 character limit. And as you can see, it is a combined 67 character limit. So this explains why that one advertiser had to choose paraphrase and instead of saying United States, shorten it down to just US. I've seen in the past with Microsoft review extensions, and even when Google had review extensions, that paraphrased extensions have a much harder time getting approved. I'm not saying it's impossible by any means. You just have to make sure that what you're paraphrasing still provides value and a clear message. So let's say that there's a review on a third party site. It's a full sentence long, but you just want to take out the two words of great platform. Most likely that's going to get disapproved. It's got to be a full clear thought. So while Michelle and I are working on our next course together, we did do one years ago for CXL. And there are reviews about that course on the website. So I'm going to take the URL to that course and pop it in my source URL. Understand, I'm going a little bit backwards here. But typically when I've done this, I've already had a list of URLs that I told my client to give me. It just makes creating these a lot easier. So clearly we know the source because I already have the source URL. And then let's look at some of the review options. I've always loved this quote. The maximizing audiences for PPC was bleep excellent. Probably won't be able to use that as an exact quote within the extension, but I could try to use a paraphrased option. So we go back up and then I'll just paste in the option here. Definitely have to keep this one paraphrased, but before I save it, understand that we can set some specific ad scheduling options if you think it makes sense. I'm not going to cover that too much because I think it's important to have a review showing at all times. But this is an option available with pretty much every Microsoft extension, so that's probably why it's there. So it does look good to me. I'm going to save this option. Let's go ahead and create one more. It's going to be the same URL. It's going to be the same source. And let me just paste in a different text option. Now in this review text, I would try to get it as an exact quote first because to use some of their tactics and it's working was an exact phrase that's up there. I'm not using the whole sentence, but I'm not removing any words in between. I've gotten these approved before. I've also gotten some of them disapproved before and then had to go back and switch it to paraphrase and it was fine. But I would try to keep that one and save this option. If you look up top here, we are setting these review extensions up at the account level. That means they could possibly show up on any text ad, in any ad group, in any campaign. But maybe you have some extensions that don't make sense. There could be reviews out there talking about your overall brand, and then there could be reviews out there talking about just your specific products. This is all going to be depending on how you have your search network campaign structured. I'm going to come right back to this, but I want to save these extensions so I don't lose them. So now these extensions are set up at the account level. But in my head, understand, I'm not going to actually run any campaigns or use this. Use some of their tactics and it's working. While not the strongest statement, it is higher level. It can count for anything. This extension on the top is talking about a specific course. So if we did have specific campaigns that we were trying to promote our course when it does come out later this year, I may go over to campaign create an extension at the campaign level. I would go down, choose the specific course campaign, understand that's not what this one is called, click done. Then I would move over with the plus button and select the review extension I want for this specific campaign. Then I'll click save. So then if I've highlighted this specific campaign, we see I don't get an account level option. I only get the one option that I selected at the campaign. And yes, I could go down even further, click on the ad group, and if I wanted to create an ad group level review extension. The deeper the level, the more priority the extension gets. Ad group level extensions will override campaign and account level extensions. Your campaign extensions will override your account extensions. I go back up to all campaigns, go back to account. I'll probably want to choose this specific extension, go up to edit and remove the association. I'm not deleting the extension, I'm removing the association. Yes, I want to do that. So then if I go into create again, we just see the one association. 
As time goes on, you're seeing performance. We get the same columns that we get for any of the other extensions. We'll be able to see what's working, what's not working. And if you are doing any other PR out there, you're getting more reviews, more awards. You can continue to test different options to try to keep improving performance of your review extensions. I was going to save it until later in the video, but we saw the 404 issue earlier on the Capterra landing page for the second ad that we looked at. These are third-party sites. Most likely you do not have control of the third-party sites. So set a reminder for yourself and every once in a while have a check-in. How do the landing pages look for the review extensions that you're using? Anything from design where maybe the value messages on that page aren't visible anymore to that page not working at all. It's easy enough to do. It's even easier if you keep a document of all the URLs you are using. And that's how simple it is to set up review extensions for your Microsoft Ads search network campaigns. As I mentioned before, if you already have a list of URLs where other brands are talking about you and saying good things, you see how easy it was to go into your Microsoft Ads account and at least get something up there at the account level to cover all of your campaigns. Then you can go back at another time and add more specific options if you need to. Don't expect these to have the same volume as a site link extension, but for free clicks that can build trust to my audience, I'm still going to put in the effort for every one of my accounts if they can do it. If there are any more questions on review extensions within Microsoft Ads, please let us know in the comments below. Thanks for watching our video. If you found it useful, give us a thumbs up below. We release a new video at least once a week, so if you want to see more from the Paid Media Pros channel, be sure to subscribe.